New information tonight on that high speed chase that ended with a crash in Wake County. This video from the WRL breaking news tracker uh, and the search for the passenger had neighborhoods on lockdown. This happened on Tryon Road near Yates Mill Pond Road in Raleigh. We now know the name of the driver who shot and killed himself, according to police. Jonah Luker, as WRL's Destiny Patterson explains, the 21 year old had a history with law enforcement. The sheriff's office says that the car itself was not stolen, but instead had fake license plates. If you take a look here on the road, you can still see tire marks. Radio traffic says that they reached speeds of more than 130 miles per hour. And while the sheriff's office says that the area is safe and they don't believe the passenger is still in the area, neighbors still have their guards up. We're still kind of nervous because our property is an acre and we haven't searched it. We haven't seen police searching it. It all started when a deputy spotted this white Mercedes driving recklessly. He ran six cars off the road and was weaving in and out of traffic and then got up to 130 miles an hour refusal to stop. It led to a chase where the deputy warned other law enforcement that the driver is brake checking and turning off his lights. From there, a crash and eventually a search for the passenger who ran from the scene. One jump and run, one jump and run. The sheriff's office has identified the driver as 21-year-old Jonah Luker. A look at his background shows two pending charges in Wake County for fleeing and eluding. He was expected to be in court this week. Again, the sheriff's office says that they believe that this area is safe and there's no longer a threat to the community, but they are still looking for that passenger. If you have any information, you're asked to call the sheriff's office. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Wake County.